Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name's Kristen and today I'm taking you into Home Goods with me so we can do a little episode of Buy This, Not That. Home Goods is such a good resource to find stylish, affordable, quick furniture and decor. I love going in pretty much weekly to find all of the best pieces, but it is the type of store that you have to sift through and really find the hidden gems. So we're gonna hit all of my favorite sections so I can show you guys all the best pieces that you should find at Home Goods and some of the items you should just skip past. So I hope you guys find is helpful for your next shopping trip at home goods if you enjoy watching and find this video helpful make sure you give it a big thumbs up and hit that like button let's go ahead and head inside Home Goods always seems to have these small shelving units. And I think if you're looking for shelving for your home, you should be looking for large scale, substantial pieces. And a lot of these are a little bit too flimsy and small in scale that when you bring them home, they just look a bit off. So if you're looking to add shelving and storage to your home, I would go for closed storage or floating shelves as opposed to these small units. Now, this is one of my favorite sections as well. Right in the middle of the store, they have the decorative accessories. And I have found some of my favorite pieces in my home from this section. They have gorgeous handmade vases, sculptures. They have gorgeous coffee table books. I'm always looking for something that looks handmade, has that texture, and a vase like this would be perfect. It has that beautiful top edge that looks organic and not too perfect, so it looks special and one of a kind. Comparing these two, you can really see a lot more character on the one on the right. I also have found some gorgeous storage boxes, decorative boxes from this section. This is a beautiful, heavy stone box that would be perfect for just putting your remotes and keys, anything small around your home. Anytime I'm looking at all of these large vases, I'm looking for that texture and handmade look. I would stay away from any of these that have just way too much going on. They tend to become distracting and messy looking. This, for example, has four different textures and finishes all in one. Instead of a vessel that has a lot of busyness, go for something that has more simplicity and has a larger shape and texture. Then you can fill it with florals and greenery and add the detail that way. They also have some beautiful coffee table books here. So if you're looking to style any shelving, any surface around your home, you can definitely check out some great options here. They have a variety of sizes and colors and topics, but of course I'm always really drawn to the home books. They have fashion and cars, really something for everybody. HomeGoods always has a great selection of floor mirrors and wall mirrors. They have the sizes that you're looking for, those large scales and unique shapes. So anytime you're looking for a floor mirror, make sure that it has that width of at least 30 inches wide like this. So you have that large scale. If you're looking for gold mirrors, they usually have a ton of options here, but don't get tricked into getting these types of gold mirrors. They are actually plastic frames that just look cheap and really lightweight. So instead go for a mirror that is framed in a metal frame that has that true quality finish. Home Goods is a great place to get those bathroom essentials, but if you're looking for a bath mat, I would actually skip past this entire bath mat section because they have small sizes, they tend to look a little bit dinky on your floors. I would go right to the runner aisle, which is a completely different section of the store. Here is where you can find two by five runners that will span the length of your vanity and really fill out your bathroom space perfectly. So they do carry different sizes, but there's a ton of Laloi rugs in here. If you're also looking for an alternative to a bath mat for maybe outside of your shower, go for one of these stone bath mats. They're super absorbent, they don't get soggy and messy looking, and they're super minimal. So they'll tie together nicely with a nice runner. It's always good to check out the window treatments at Home Goods because if you can leave with some good quality curtains, you're definitely getting a deal. I like coming in here and looking for those linen, 
beautiful fabric curtains that have that pocket rod seam. These will allow you to add your curtain rings, your curtain clips and hooks to elevate those curtains really easily. Also make sure that you're looking at the lengths and sizes of the curtains so that they fit perfectly in your home and they're not too long or not too short. Now these are not always easy to find because the window covering section is filled with curtains that have grommets and these are the style of curtains that I would stay away from. They tend to look store-bought, they don't give you that custom drapery look and the metal finishes are hard to tie into your existing finishes sometimes so if you're trying to create that designer look in your home, stay away from the curtains with grommets. One of my favorite sections to check out and something I always recommend doing is flipping through the rug section. If you can find a rug hanging in home goods, it's usually a win. They carry brand name rugs at an affordable price because they're usually all marked down quite a lot. So this is a great way to get the look for less and get those designer pieces. I also love shopping in stores here to look for rugs. So you get a sense of the material, the feel, and the true color of all of these pieces. These two rugs here are a great example of how you you can integrate color into your home in two different ways. The left rug is obviously a big punch of blue, but this rug carries in that blue, but in a more subtle way. So I love seeing the options here. If you're going for a very neutral look and you want a light, bright rug, make sure that it still has pattern in it and texture in it like this one does. This is a great example of a neutral, modern, transitional, traditional rug. It can literally work with any design style, but some rugs that I would recommend not choosing from home goods are a lot of these smaller rugs that are packaged up and rolled up already. They're usually all shag rugs, which isn't really a designer high-end look. So it's something I would steer away from. You may be enticed by the lower price tags, but you're not gonna get that large expansive look with these small rug sizes. Another thing to look out for is how the pattern is sewn into your rug. This is an example of a rug that can easily be snagged and hooked from your furniture. And over time, it's gonna start to kind of unwind and look a bit messy. So it's not gonna hold up very well. And lastly, any rug that kind of looks like this, something that's mimicking a stone texture or a material is not the best choice. It kind of tends to look cheap. Now, furniture at Home Goods goes very quickly. If you can find a good piece at Home Goods, you better snag it before someone else does. They have incredible options for swivel chairs here. If you're looking for something for your living room or family room that swivels or glides, I highly recommend checking out Home Goods because they seem to have a ton of options. There's Italian leather, there's linen. If you're looking for a swivel chair like these, make sure that you find one that has this depth that these chairs have. They're really substantial, they have large arms, they have a weight to them, which really makes them look expensive, even though they're actually such a great price. I like all of these chairs that are fully upholstered, but there are some options in here that have these metal bases that tend to make them look cheap. So if you're comparing designs and trying to figure out which chair you want to bring home, I would go for the fully upholstered option because it really gives this elevated look. I love looking through the throw pillow section because there's some really great pillows hidden in here. This is one of my favorite pillows I've seen so far. I love that muted integrated pattern. Any pattern that's really sewn into the fabric is gonna give you that quality high-end look. You're always looking for something that's gonna be soft, plush, and comfortable. There's a ton of pillows here that have this fake metallic look, this gold built-in pattern. Don't be tricked into thinking that this is gonna give you that glamorous look in your home. It's actually doing the opposite and tends to look cheap. So stay away from any of these shiny materials when it comes to throw pillows. Stick to good quality materials, soft plush finishes, nice edging to give you the detail that way.
Now, if you're looking to buy some shelving for your home, I would avoid any of these decorative, busy, small floating shelving units. They make your home look messy and distracting and they just tend to look a little bit cheap. So I would stay away from any of these decorative, busy shelving units. If you're trying to add any kind of storage in your home, go for something a lot more simple and something that has more weight to it. A floating shelf like this would be perfect for a kid's bedroom. I love that sweet scalloped edge, the pale pink color. It adds a little bit of detail and storage, but in a more subtle way. Some of the best lamp lighting at Home Goods are the lamps that have a beautiful white lampshade. These are the lamps that are going to give off the most amount of light and really brighten your space. You can always play around with different lamp bases, but keeping that simplicity with the lampshade is really going to give a clean look in your home. I would stay away from any of these lamps that have the beige or black lampshade. These can actually make your space look really dark and sometimes they're harder to match other finishes too. So if you're doing lots of lamps around your home, these are a little bit harder to integrate. An exception to this would be metal lampshades. These are more for focused light. So once the lamp is on, the light actually just gets pushed downwards. These are perfect for surfaces and desks to light up the space below. All right, so that's it for today's home goods shopping. I hope you guys enjoyed watching and I hope this gave you a better idea on what you should look for next time you're at home goods. Let me know down below in the comments what your favorite thing to shop for at home goods is. Is it bedding, furniture, decor, florals? Let me know down below. And if you enjoyed watching and found this video helpful, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and hit that like button and make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel so you don't miss the upcoming videos. Click that red subscribe button down below and make sure you guys have your notifications turned all the way on so you're first to see the next video. Love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.